Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to add stickers to Metamoji. I've been asked to do this on my YouTube channel and I feel it's a really good idea because a lot of people um, don't understand the full ins and outs or the full potential that they can you do with Metamoji. Now, to start off with, I am going to start off with the stickers that you get included in Met Metamoji so they're always available. I'm also going to cover how to make your own stickers to live in Metamoji. That's if you don't have your own sticker book. And I'll cover how to put in a downloaded sticker sheet um, piece into here so you can use that for your own planner as well. Now as you can see from the top, this is my own planner that's all loaded up right now. Um, so I'm just doing a page included within that just so you can see what we're talking about and have a play around with that. Now, to start off with the standard stickers, we need to start off with the plus symbol, which is just here on the left. If you click on that, it comes up with a drop-down box. You're going to go to add item, and from there, it will bring up the stickers. Now, don't worry about my items. They're things that you will start to add in as you go ahead and use them. With Metamoji to begin with, you do get the basic items. So you can see them all here on the right hand side. There is all different things that you can add in and things that are useful. And if you don't want any other stickers, they should be good enough to keep you going in relation to this. Now, as you can see here on the bottom, towards the bottom of the screen, now we have hearts. Now, I love heart checkboxes. So to add that in, you just click on it, it adds it into the page that you're on. And it's all good. Now, to make a heart checkbox, so we'll cover how to put your own stickers that you've made into Metamoji for future use across all of your different tabs or pages that you have on here. Um, firstly, you are just going to size it to the size that you want. Once you've got it there, click on it. You'll get a little menu that comes up. If you click more and change style, you can then change the ink colour to whatever colour you want it to be on here. Okay, I'm going to go purple today. And it'll change so you can see it there remember to use your lasso tool at the top to select this again now if you click highlight it and click copy and then click paste you will get a second heart now you can spend forever to line them up go for it if you want to um, however if you then select both of them again you can again copy and paste them which means that you get two more hearts ready to go and line up on there. You can do as many of those as you wish. Now, the trick to getting them as a sticker in Metamoji is to again select them, select all of them. Easiest way to do it is click more and then you go to group. That then means that they are now one picture when you click on them. So once you've got it there, click on it again to bring up that little menu. You can see that little menu there. Let's put it there. Then if you click more and register item at the bottom, that then will make that available throughout your planner. So if I just go to this sheet here, just blank sheet, click the plus sign in the top left, add an item. Now this will have moved up to the top now, so you have all the standards there back where we started and you can see here is the standard one so let me just go back into that click not too long and there it is the purple heart you can with this um, change the color we go to more and change style so you can change it to any color that you wish just by playing around with it and it'll do that for you now, to add in your own stickers, all you would need to do is, again, click the plus button on the top left. You're now going to add a photo. With mine, you're going to add it from the photo, photo album, and mine will come up with an extra option of prime photos. So once this loads up, oh, there it is. <laughs> We have all the different things. So I just recently downloaded a new monthly sheet. This is from Pink Pixel Graphics. I am loving the stickers this year from Pink Pixel. Now, if you ever watch any of my plan with me, you'll know that I put my stickers over here. 
make them a bit bigger add both sheets in because there's normally two sheets and what I tend to do then is with the lasso tool selected I will click on it click copy click on it again click paste and get two copies just then means when I click on this one here and edit the image I can then move this down and do whatever I want with this copy without having to go round in circles each time. Now I will mention that when you download any kind of sheet, um, download the PNG version. Just means it doesn't have the background included. So the background's already been removed to make it a lot easier for you to add in your stickers. So with this I've just used the selector, the square selector up in the top left. And when I'm done I'm going to click done. Now this then means that I can take this and I can put that wherever I want on my sheet and it will stay. Now with this as well, again I just copy and paste a second copy of this to edit on there. So you can see I did that a little bit quicker this time round. Now to get the numbers for example, again you can just use the square option. And you can just take that all the way down to where you want it and then you can add that in there put it wherever you want like i said the background has already been removed so for example if i went to the plus and the add item just to show you this on that number one i'm going to just pick a circle it's a circle it is literally just a circle if i do that covers the one if i select that again though more and send to back you can then see you've got a sticker background's already removed and it's all on there for you now as i've mentioned make sure you download the png file um, that is about it really for adding stickers into metamoji literally you can just as you find stickers if you don't want a separate sticker book you can just keep on adding them, registering items, adding them in. Um, as you can see, I have quite a few that I just have and use. This one here, for example, was from a few weeks ago when I used another one of the Pink Pixel Graphics. I think it was the Lemonade Kit. Just put them all together, as you can see, when I select them. They are all crammed in there. Just makes a nice little collage to go in the bottom of my planner page. So you can keep them in there. And add them in as you want any questions um just leave them in the comments if you have finished watching this video please like it and if you do get a chance please also click subscribe and the little bell just so you get a notification every time i post a new video and any other ideas anything you want to know about planning any other tutorials you'd like please just get in contact well that is everything thank you very much for watching bye